Hello, this is SobbySock11 with a tutorial on how to install the VegaBean Beta 6 ROM onto the Advent Vega tablet PC. Um, for this, you will need the two files that you can see on my screen. Uh, these will be available from the links below. So, the first thing you need to do is download a program called WinRAR if you don't already have it to extract this first file. That link will also be, be below in the description. So once you've installed WinRAR, you need to right click on the file and say extract here. And then you wait for it to extract. There we go. So that's now that's now extracted into the folder that you've saved it in. Uh, and you've all, you also have the actual ROM saved in this folder. So you need two things in total saved in your fo three things. You need the zip file, you need the ROM file, and you need the file that we just extracted. So you should have three things in a in a folder on your computer. The uh, next step is to plug the Advent Vega into the computer. So you need to have the USB cable plugged in along with the power cable. Um, I've I'm I've got the original ROM installed on my Advent Vega just for this purpose, but whichever ROM you have installed at the moment, it really doesn't matter as long as you can get it into recovery mode, which I'm going to show you now. So to do this, you need to power off the tablet. Wait for it to shut down. Once it's done that, you need to hold down the back button for two seconds, which is the one on the right, then the power button along with the back button for two seconds, and then just the back button again. And then that's now in recovery mode. You'll know because your computer will make a sound and indicate that it's found new hardware. If you've put it into recovery mode on your computer before, it it's likely that it's already set up and it will just find it. Uh, but if, if you haven't, then you'll have to install drivers, which I'm going to show you now. Windows 7, I believe it's a very similar similar process, but I, I'm using Windows XP for this tutorial. So you need to go install from a list or specific location. I believe it's a, a similar thing with Windows 7. Uh, you need to find the folder that you've saved it in, that you've saved the drivers in. So you do this by clicking browse, there you go, and then find it. So wherever you saved them to, that's what you need to find. So I've saved mine in Advent, and there you can see it, the flash USB driver, then USB, and then you just click OK, and then next. And now it will find the drivers and install them for you. So there we go. Now the drivers have installed and the computer recognises the Advent Vega in recovery mode. So now we can go forward to the next step. So if you just click finish, that's all set up now. So the only thing you have left to do is to install the ROM. So you do this by double clicking on the ROM, which you should have saved, and click run. It will come up with some messages. This is not a actual ROM. You guys know that already. Say, so, uh, this was completed by some devs. I'll uh, put their names in the comments below, so because they deserve some credit for this awesome ROM, because it is seriously badass. So, to so you need to choose the location for where all of the directories go and things. This really, um. It doesn't matter too much. Just just choose a place where you know there's plenty of memory. So I'll just put it in Advent where I've put the rest of my things. Just click the folder that you've saved everything else in. That's probably your safest bet. And then press OK. Then press Extract. I mean, once you've flashed the ROM, you can delete all of the contents of the folder that you used 
Let's wait for that to extract. And it says that it's all been extracted. You just click OK. And this is it. So you will see that it's completing the installation on the computer. And on the Advent Vega, comes it with some writing. I'm not really sure if it says much more than that. Just says it's entering NV flash recovery mode. And on the computer, it's sending all the information to the tablet. I'll just fast forward this process because it's also quite long. And there we go, it's all complete. So you'll know it's complete because on your computer it will say press enter to continue. That means the process has finished. So if you press enter, it will close down. And the Advent Vega now has Vega been installed on it. So if you go ahead and power it up by holding down the power button, you will see the flash. You'll see it flash up. It's slightly slow on the first boot. It's much quicker than this, um, you know, after the first original boot into Vega B. But it's a drastic improvement from um, well the original ROM and any other really. I mean, it's the fastest one I've used and the most responsive. So this is the this is the boot screen. You can ignore any things that come up on your computer. This is the this is the boot screen into Vega Bean. Android 4.1. As I say, it's quite slow on the first boot. Okay, very slow. <laughs> Here we go. So we've booted in. And this is the. Oh, sorry, not the tripod. This is the original set. So you just choose your country. Press start. Just a sec. Here we go. So we'll just say no for that now because I can't be bothered to set it up. Not now. Blah blah blah. Google location. Put my name in. Yep. Finish. So now it boots up. Use Apex Launcher. Apex Launcher. That's uh, my advice. Always. I mean, you can use the normal launcher if you want, but it kind of sucks. So uh, this is it. You're now booted into Vega Bean on the Advent Vega. This update won't affect any of the contents on your SD card. So if you've downloaded apps third party through the browser etc then they'll still be on the SD card any music photos that you had before this app works brilliant this uh, build works brilliantly I'd strongly advise that you update to it being it's so easy to do uh, this is Sobisock 11 uh, if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like it if you found it useful and if you're interested in more tech views unboxings um, please be sure to subscribe to my channel I'll leave the names of the devs below for the people that put some hard work into this uh, Vega Beam build for the Advent Vega. They did a really good job. Thanks for watching.